there! Welcome to another balloon animal tutorial. I'm Holly, the Twister Sister, and today I'm going to show you how to make an adorable little snail balloon that's super cute and he can be made just like this or you can wear him as a bracelet or a headband. <laughs> All right, so this design is really simple, but it's really cute. So of course I love it because it's adorable, um, but it's really easy because we only need two 260s and two five inch round balloons. Pick any colors you like. I am kind of in love with these polka dot balloons right now. So I found a way to <laughs> use these even more with this snail. So I'll be using the polka dots. Um, then you're gonna need two colors for the snail in your 260s and then just a white five inch round for the eyeballs. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start off with the base, which is going to be a seven petal flower like I've done in many of my other videos. If you're not sure how to make a seven petal flower, go check out David Brennan's video. He explains it really well. So I'm not going to go into detail on this part, but basically you make a small flower that has seven petals. And the reason for this is because it makes a great base for headbands. Um, so if you want to turn this into a headband, this is kind of the way you want to go. If you don't want this to be a headband, then you could do a different kind of base, maybe five petals or whatever is quicker for you. But I like to make it seven petals. That way I have the option of making it whatever I want. When I'm done with it, I can decide if I want it to be a bracelet or just hold on to it or whatever. So there we go. We have a nice little seven petal flower. Now the next part's really easy. Take the five inch round that you want to use for the shell of your snail. And I'm gonna put about four pumps of air in here. So it's nice and big and then let just a little air out so that it has a nice round shape. You don't want it to be too oblong. So nice and round is the way to go. And then we're just going to attach this round balloon into the center of our seven petal flower um, by taking the nozzle and wrapping it down and around a couple of the petals. So we've got a nice little balloon on a stick, which is cute. Right? So the polka dots make everything cute. Okay, <laughs> so now take your 260. I'll be using orange for this one. And just put like four pumps of air in here. Doesn't need to be too much because we're not doing a whole lot with this. And we're gonna start off with just a small pinch twist right here at the very front. So make a small round bubble and twist that nozzle around it so you get the pinch twist. And then come down about one, one and a half inches. Okay, and now we're gonna do his mouth. So I'm gonna do a small loop about that big and twist that over. And to kind of stabilize everything here and to give them the cheeks, I'm going to do two pinch twists. So a small round bubble, pinch twist, and another small round bubble, and make that into a pinch twist. So this one's kind of funny because his eyes are going to be way up here and his mouth is way down here, but that's how snails are, so it's cool. <laughs> All right, so this is what we have so far. Now we're going to do his little neck and I'm just going to do another bubble about the same height as this one. Okay, so about like that. And then do another small little round pinch twist. Okay, that's what we've got so far. Now we're going to squeeze out the rest of this, make it nice and soft and squishy. And we're going to do this very similar to the ladybug and the turtle balloon that I have up. So we're just gonna wrap this around the round balloon to attach it. So it's not even gonna be hooked into anything. It's just gonna be wrapped around the bottom of our round balloon to hold it in place. And we can get rid of the tail here. We don't need the rest of that. Sometimes it pops nice, sometimes it's a little loud. <laughs> okay, so now we've got our little snail, kind of looks like he's on a leaf, which is really cute. And to finish this off now, all we need are the eyeballs. So I'm going to take my white five inch round and just put a little bit of air in here. And I'm going to let a lot of this out because I don't want his eyes to be too ginormous. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and tie that off. And then we're going to split this in half where the nozzle is. We want the nozzle to end up being in the center between the two eyeballs like this. And then you're gonna take your snail body and we're just gonna attach the eyes onto this top pinch twist here that we put at the very beginning. So I'm just gonna wrap them around and then switch them so that they stay locked in there. And that pinch twist will help them uh, stay positioned correctly. So now all we need to do is draw his little eyes on. All right, so there he is with his eyes. I give him a little mouth and some nose holes also. So that is the snail now. He's finished and as you can see, it's adorable and people love this. If you want, you can even give him some antennas on top of his eyes, but sometimes the eyes are like the antennas. So it just, you can get creative with it. Um, this is really quick because it's only four balloons, um, but if you have some extra time, you want to add more detail, of course, feel free to do that. Now you can leave it like this, so you have like a little snail on a stick and it's real nice and easy for people to hold on to it. Or we can easily make this into a bracelet or a headband by deflating that stick. And then just grab yourself a headband or you can do a little hair tie to make it into a bracelet, which I explained in more detail. I think on the ladybug video, I go over that one a little bit, but. It's pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> All right, and then you can just attach the, your headband onto your seven petal flower base there. And this makes just the cutest little headband hat thing. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy these snails. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. Also, if you have suggestions for other balloon animals you'd like to see me make a tutorial on, leave those suggestions in the comments below and vote up your favorite ones. That way I know what you guys wanna see. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up so I know that you liked it. And if you guys make any of these snails, I would love to see pictures of your snails. You can post them on my Facebook page. The link is in the description down below. Oh, and one thing I forgot on uh, this guy is you can draw in the little swirly part on his shell too. And that also kind of helps it look more like a snail. So there's two different versions for you. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching my videos and supporting me. I really appreciate it. If you're not already subscribed and you want to see more awesome balloon tutorials like this one, just go ahead and subscribe to my channel and you'll get notified every time I put out a new video. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in next week's balloon tutorial video. Bye bye!